Hi everyone, John here with some pre-market analysis, taking a quick look at the S&P's 500s. Over here, we got some selling off in the last couple of sessions. We can see that we had a gap right here, it's able to fill it, and we're breaking through below that gap. Now the next gap is a little bit further down, it's going to be around 445 for the S&P's. On the NASDAQ, we're also selling off on this index as well. Taking a quick look here, with that big sell off, the next gap we're going to look at is that 382 area. Not on the way there, we may see some series of lower highs and lower lows. Diamonds, diamonds are also selling off here. And the gap that we're trying to fill is a little bit further down below the 200 moving average, right around 346. Russell 2000, this one is selling off as well. Now the difference between this one and the other indices is that it never was really up here, right? It kind of just settled in. It's trying to get out of the gate into higher values. But right here, we may find some good setups in the Russell 2000s if you're looking for small caps. Now, let's take a quick look at some picks that I had the last couple of sessions. We talked about Apple. Let's take a quick look. Apple, I was looking at weakness on this one, and it did continue to sell off. It wasn't able to recover against that 200 moving average on the daily chart. Also for Comcast, Comcast, it was looking weak as well. Over here, we can see that it continued to sell off as well. Next, we have NVIDIA. NVIDIA, it was looking very top heavy, right? So the last time I looked at this, it was still over $800. Right now, it's trading below $800, trading around $700. And this is where we talked about it, right? We were looking for this formation to form. And now, if you still want to short NVIDIA, you can do it, but you want to wait for a pullback. Taking a quick look here, you may want to look for a pullback against that 200 moving average, finding a three price relationship. If it gives you a trigger to go short. Now we do have a gap on this chart as well. This gap is right here, right around, 7, around 742 and also 685. I'm going to put some lines on here. We also talked about PayPal. PayPal is looking to go long on this, but it didn't give me a trigger to go long just yet. Taking a quick look, let's see how it performed. You just gotta be patient with this. So the dip breakthrough below that pocket potential support, you should beat out. Now, we do have that 200 moving average on the daily. So you wanna find yourself a nice three price relationship against that. There's also earnings that's coming up on the 30th. On the hourly chart, we're trading below the 200 moving average. So just be patient with this chart. You want to find more strength. And with the overall market selling off right now, might not be the best place to go long. So you can a quick look at Airbnb. With the market selling off strong like this, this one is still holding up, you know, fairly well. So find yourself a nice three price relationship. So this one broken through, so you should be out of this ready. If you took this trade, if you took this trade to the long side, you should already be out. So the next thing to do is just for the next setup. Look for the next setup. Halliburton. Now, when we talked about this, I was looking for a sell off, right? So over here, last time I went over this was on the April 11th. This is exactly what I drew in, right? So on the 11th, we were here at this, at this, <clears throat> on the 11th, we were right here. So over here, these lines, I didn't make any changes at all. You guys can go back and look at this video. I was looking for a three price relationship against that 200 moving average on the daily. Now we did get it. Now we did pop up against that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So we did recover the 200 on the hourly. So now it's about finding a nice three price relationship right here to go along. But as you can see, the overall markets is weak right now. Now we may get a bounce this week simply because we have some big sell offs that took place. So on the way there, we may get some nice bounces along the way. And that's where you want to find the nice setups uh, for go, to go long. Okay, let's take a quick look at ConAgra. Conagra, this is a great place. I think this is a great place to go long. So this one, whip it in here in an oversold 
area for quite some time. Series at higher lows. Recover against the 200 moving average. Pull them back. So when we went over this chart, it was also on the 11th. So on the 11th, I drew in these lines, right? Then 11th, right here, on this bar. So this one, I was looking for that pocket of potential support. It did not hold. So since there was no trigger, you don't do anything with this chart. Sometimes you might find yourself a nice setup, but it never gave you a trigger. Plus it was also trading below the 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So this one is also a bust. So if you're in this trade, you should be out of the trade already. Okay, no big deal. Just find yourself the next setup. I like stocks like this, AEP. Let's see how it's performing. Here we go. So over here, recover against the 200 moving average. Now, I like to see more higher highs and higher lows before you start to go in on this going long. But I still like this type of setup. I don't want to go long on a stock that's already all the way up in these areas, right? You want to find a stock that is just kind of finding its way back to the upside. But you want to see the overall market as well. The overall market is right now, there's more selling pressure. So you want to be looking for some short opportunities, but also for some long opportunities. If you're looking for long opportunities, you want to find ones that are oversold. Let's take a quick look. SWK. This was also a nice setup. At the same time, right now it's trading below the 200 moving average. Okay. So if you're not in this chart already, make sure that it can recover against the 200 on the daily chart. See what Dominion's doing. I think Dominion's part of one of these small cap stocks. See, I like charts like this. It's a boring stock, right? At the same time, it pays dividends and it's just starting to recover against that 200 moving average on the daily chart. In addition, which this has some pretty big sell-offs across the markets, the S&Ps, the NASDAQ, the Diamonds, the Russell 2000s, and this one is just holding strong. So we gotta see that it is what it is. It's got more buying pressure than selling pressure in the stock. And I'm pretty sure nobody's really talking about this. When people talk about a stock, all right, it's already up here. You wanna look at a stock, oversold condition, starting to find some signs of life and strength back to the upside and that's where you want to position size recognize that we do have some earnings coming up on the second so you want to wait until after earnings perfectly fine but if you're holding off for the long term and uh, collecting dividend selling cover calls that's perfectly fine as well that's what i have for you guys today thanks so much for watching this if you have any questions leave a comment below any other symbols you want to take a look at leave them in the comments and i'll talk to you soon Hi everyone, John here. I recently put together a PDF on Fibonacci trading. You guys can check out the link in the descriptions below. I will put it in the comments. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? We go over setups and cryptocurrencies as well as US equities to help you grow your account. Subscribe now and hit that notification button. We look to hearing from you in the comments area.